Welcome to Keeping Your Focus 101. I'm your host, Distraction Debbie. Can you sit still for two minutes? Many of us can find this simple task challenging, but teaching our minds to focus and practicing this behavior can help us to accomplish much more. Taking breaks in between tasks help you to take a moment to breathe, stretch, and get refocused. But beware of what you do on those breaks. What was once a five minute break can quickly turn into 30 minutes. So let's see what our top five distractions are. Meet our first distraction, the social media stalker. Instead of doing homework, you find yourself opening another tab, spending an hour looking at Facebook albums, taking a quiz to see Harry Potter, and to see what everyone is posting. <sighs> homework is so hard. I just need a break. No, I can't. You know what? Hey, it's only five minutes, right? Wow, Instagram's really blowing up. I wonder what's going on on Twitter. The TV Netflix binging. Watching just one more episode of your show is just far too tempting to resist. Man, I love Full House. That's my favorite show. You know what? I'm happy, you know, growing up, you watch Full House and you have Fuller House. No, this is perfect. One more episode and I'll do my homework. Well, maybe three, it's fine. The chatterbox. Group messages are always blowing up. If you don't pay attention, all of a sudden, you have about 200 unread messages. Obviously, keeping up with what's going on is much more important than getting that paper done. Oh, I have so much more work to do on my paper, but all my friends keep sending me messages. Oh, I guess I guess I can't help but I have to see what's going on. Here comes distraction number four. Food. Sometimes a study snack break turns into an hour-long snack break or the Kanak attack. Oh man. All this writing is making me so hungry. I think I have to take a break. <sighs> Running into your friend pretty much always turns into an hour long conversation, complaining about how much work you have while getting no work done. You're easily convinced to put off whatever you're doing for any kind of interaction. Oh, man. Gina? Man, what's, what's up? up? Yeah, how are you? Man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, man. You know, just trying to like, pass, you know, this class I'm having. It's, it's kind of rough, but you know what? Let's take a break. Let's talk some story. I haven't seen it so long. Yeah, this pandemic? Oh, I was always just being good, man. All I, mean, I do is read, read, read. Huh? You know what? Education though. Yeah. Education, we're trying to move on, man. Um, trying to get a good education. We got this, bro. Yep. You know what? Next weekend, everything opens up. Let's go to the beach. Yeah, let's go. Bring some sunscreen, bro. It's going to be real hot. All right, I'm down. Okay, let's go, man. So how do we keep focused? Here are some helpful tips on how to set yourself up so that you can stay on task. Create a familiar environment. Designate a place in your house to create an area where it is used only for studying. Exercise and hobbies. Exercise works best as a routine. Fall out of that routine and it can become very difficult to resume. It's the same with reading, writing, or any other hobby. To keep your hobbies from becoming a distraction, plan ahead. Look at the expectations of your education and schedule your hobbies around them and family. Communication is key. Being open with others and letting them know what your priorities are will take care of many distractions. Social media. Simply putting your phone in another room, turning it off or putting it on silent. Study buddies. A partner can be of great help to understanding difficult topics, but be careful. When they become friends, Sometimes it becomes a distraction. So stay on task. Set up group goals and objectives for your sessions and time them. As Bruce Lee said, the successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. Who knows, by the end of the week, sitting silent for two minutes will be easy. 
Thanks for watching. Distraction Debbie is out.